Witchers! Welcome back to the Witcher Lorecast. This is your host, Tom, or Robots. I'm here with my good buddy, Toasty, who's... Hello. Here, he's, here, he's here. He's ready to talk about vacations because we are recording this on Memorial Day here in the United States. Thank you to all of those who have served for all of your your uh, sacrifice and everything that you've done. If you are still currently in the military or if you previously were in the military and retired, thank you for your service. Uh, it is a holiday weekend this weekend for us here in the States. And so that brought the idea of going on vacation somewhere in the continents and where you would like to go. So we have our patrons here again with us because it's the end of the month and a brand new patron who's joining us. We have returning Ben of Tamaria. Ben, welcome back to the show. How's it going? It is going good. And then we have Genesis joining us again. Jen, welcome back. Hello. Hello. And then Mormon Milkman for the first time. Welcome. Welcome to the show, friend. Happy to be here. Awesome. Thank you for the support, by the way. Yeah, yeah, and uh, thank you for the support, and um, thank you to all of you for joining us. And Toasty, Toasty, we're talking about vacation locations in the continent. And the first thing that comes to mind in my mind is how many terrible places there are, <laughs> which makes me go, okay, which locations are they going to choose? Um, I have my theories. You probably have your theories, but why don't we get right into the conversation? We're going to kick this off and find out where they want to go on vacation. Who would like to start us off? Ben? Ben's got some ideas. So, ben, where are you going on vacation? Obviously, the Isle of Mists. The Isle of Mists. I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Toussaint, because that's the only true good place. I mean, let's be honest. That's the only wine country nice looking place the entire continent that we've seen. I don't. God I mean, there's some. Know what wait, about. wait, wait, like, wait. Hold on, hold. On. I have to push back on this. It is beautiful in a like southern Europe, looking, Italian yeah. kind of landscape kind of way. Yes, it's beautiful in that way. But the mountains in the north are very beautiful in their own ways. The islands of Skellige, we just talked about, very beautiful in their in their own ways. There's, I mean, not everything is the middle of Velen with a bunch of swamps and dead people hanging from trees true but it's also the if you're going on vacation you have to go all out going down you know doing the european or you know italy style subtropical kind of climate yeah that kind of I thing. Mean, yeah i mean regardless everything in the world's going to kill try and kill you regardless so I might as well go somewhere where it looks aesthetically nice yeah yeah so that so for you going to like the south of france or on an italian i don't know uh, romp across the countryside with like these rolling hills and and beaches and those kind that's that's vacation for you Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know you come down to Florida for like Disney, for like Star Wars at Disney and stuff oh, yeah. like that. You've done you know, like I live in Florida. I've, I grew up in Florida. I've lived in different locations in Florida my whole life. When I look outside my window, I see hell. I do not see vacation. I see humidity and too much sun and the palm trees that look nice. That's fine. The beaches are beautiful. But at the same time, I'm craving for something different. But you live in a different place. Most people. Yeah live in a different place so when you I live in the north where it gets cold yeah so you and are seeing like sunshine yeah okay so what are you doing on this vacation and who are you bringing with you from the realm Ooh. of the witcher world if you had to bring a vacation buddy oh jen's jen's raising her hand like bring me bring me is that what you're saying oh, yeah because <laughs> Toussaint was my pick also so ben if we're gonna go vacation together i'm all for it yeah i'll, I'll take jen that'd be great have wine, look around. <laughs> look around. <laughs> look around. <laughs> look yeah, at the favorite vacation we're there. activity. <laughs> Looking hey, around. Hey, go on a contract. Yeah, I'm, I'm a witcher. She's a sorceress. We got this. <laughs> okay, okay. So who who in the stories are you bringing with you? Who is your vacation buddy? Or do you have like a crew? Because some people like to go on vacation with like a group. I mean, if we're talking about from the witcher universe definitely dandelion and zoltan okay that would be fantastic <laughs> i feel like this is a them. party vacation <laughs> it's a party vacation but uh, just the commentary between the two is like top notch and it's fantastic yeah and when and you get where you're going dandelion both of them are gonna get in trouble you know, in their own ways right and dandelion has a reputation in tucson so 
it'd be entertaining can only end well <laughs> can only end well all right all right toasty what do you think about this vacation choice i figured that was the obvious answer it does it does seem like the the obvious answer um mm-hmm. for anybody who hasn't played the witcher 3 the last expansion was all in toussaint and it's beautiful and there's even this like warm bloom kind of over all the graphics like it's almost like remember those uh there was like a made for made for women movies from like what's that channel that does those or like the interviews Hallmark or lifetime yeah lifetime movies Hallmark. or like <laughs> the martha stewart interviews where they would put like that like fuzzy bloom over the lens to make everything feel soft it almost feels like that <laughs> in the game that's my perspective on it at least it does <laughs> jen's like Ben goes out there and meets a nice country lass well, <laughs> there you go get into some trouble like that huh so while you are in tucson are you spending time touring famous locations some of the cities are very cool looking with like architecture are you going out into the countryside are you like where are you going 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 on and having all the wine because they make so many different kinds of wine so you're doing like a wine tour yes tucson wine tour you're going to all the wineries and hanging out tasting all that do you like wine personally is that something like is that your go-to like alcoholic beverage i mean honestly i drink anything that has alcohol so okay so normally you don't drink but (laughs) on this vacation you're you're making (laughs) you're just gonna go with it anyway oh yeah Okay. He does a little spin, sniff, and spit. (laughs) Like, right. He doesn't drink. (laughs) Right. Like, (laughs) wishes it around in in his mouth a little bit. Like, swish, swish. Mm, This is delicious. (laughs) Nice. Nice. All right. Any other thoughts on this as a vacation location for you, Ben? Um, Also, I'll do Gwent tournaments. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Everybody loves Gwent. All right. Do you, does anyone else have questions for Ben about his vacation choice? Any other thoughts so on this I, one? Go ahead. I have a question for, for you, Ben. So as we know, you're taking Dan the Lion with you. Are you going to encourage lo- going near locations near the palace? Or are you going to do your best to avoid taking him anywhere near there? Oh, I take him there because I want to see the entertainment. <laughs> There's no cable in the continent. We need this. <laughs> exactly. And I had Zoltan there because he would help me encourage the entire time. Oh. <laughs> By the end of this vacation, I feel like the three of you are going to be in the dungeon. No, I know. It's, it's mainly dandelion causing chaos and getting into trouble. And me and Zoltan probably would have just to bail him out every single time. Yeah. But okay. still fun. All right. That's All why right. he's bringing me along. I have the bail money. <laughs> you have the bail money. <laughs> when it goes out of hand and the, and then the guards are like, oh, and then you, you're with him. You're all going and to jail. If we need a portal to get out, we have a portal. Exactly. Mm. Mm. The portals are always good. So, but still. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay. Well, here, should we move on to Jen? Because Jen, you, you're picking the same location. Are you going to stick I with am. Tucson? Yeah definitely um you know there are definitely are other areas of the continent that are pretty and they would be fun to explore i like the idea of exploring skellige except i don't really like the cold i really really don't like the cold um so for me i want to go somewhere nice and warm and i am a wino I love doing wine tastings. I live uh, very close to the Willamette Valley. So I do wine tastings down in the uh, Willamette Valley vineyards. Um, so I definitely know my wine. And I'm drinking a nice Chianti tonight. Chianti. In honor of Tucson. Yeah. So is that your go to type of wine? Is there a specific, yeah, is there, is there, is there a a type of wine that you specifically would be looking forward to the most? Mm, A Cab Sauv. Okay. Cab Sauv, your Cab Sauv. I don't know a ton about wine. I know, I know it's just different names and things. I'm not a big drinker myself. Uh, But 
I, I think it's cool when people nerd out about a thing and know a lot about it, you know? Mm-hmm. So, uh, I prefer the red wines and then the darker, the red, the better for me. Um, I even enjoy like the port wines, which are like mm-hmm. the heaviest, densest type of wine where you only get a little tiny glass because they're for sipping only. Yes. So yes. really, really good. Yeah. I've enjoyed some, uh, some tawny ports. Mm-hmm. Those, those are good too. Yeah. Um, Okay. All right. So what is your, your trip entail? Ben, Ben decided that he wants to bring some potential trouble, troublemakers with him. Who are you bringing on your wine tour of Tucson? No, oh, it's going to be me and the girls. We're yeah. going to do an all girls weekend wine tasting. The uh, sorceresses lodge, around. like all the sorceresses <laughs> all together. Maybe not all of them, because I <laughs> okay. feel like that might be just as much chaos as Ben's trip. Um, but, you know, at least Yen and Tris, they are coming with. Maybe Shawnee can come along, too. Okay. Um, Siri. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Having like a girls. I'm sorry. A, I, girls week. I got to interrupt, because when you said girls weekend, I just pictured like ca- horse-drawn carriage at like midnight with Yennefer Tris standing up the top yelling woo like you see girls doing limos at Vegas. <laughs> They're all woo girls. That's, we call those woo oh, girls. Every oh, time, <laughs> whenever my wife and I go out and she hits a, a few, has a few drinks, I'll look over it and go, are you a woo girl? <laughs> like, have you had enough to be, like feel it? Is really what that means. And sometimes she'll go, yep. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> we're like, woo. She just responds to woo. Are you <laughs> woo. 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 Yeah, those are the woo girls. Yes. I can picture that in my head and I absolutely love it. I want to see Yen being a woo girl so bad now. <laughs> Do we got the art for the episode? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't done it yet. Maybe we could. <laughs> Yen as a woo girl. Yen, Yen as a woo girl. I wonder if I put that into like a an AI generated art thing if it could it could probably do it it could probably do it I don't think there's any actual photos of either the actress or uh, you know the character from the game going woo <laughs> like I don't think those animations exist maybe if it's a part of a casting and so you just have to get rid of her magic oh but then the face looks intense like you're mm, that's it has to be oh, like a woo true. face yeah i'd have to edit the face too. just photoshop genesis in there instead there you go there you go <laughs> <laughs> all right so like so uh, w- w- girls weekend or girls week i'm thinking you take a week right oh that's true yeah why not take a week and go visit all the different wine tasting locations are you staying anywhere fancy i mean you've got all these sorceresses with you i mean technically yen owns half of Geralt's property so (laughs) why not just stay at the manor oh yeah yeah you got that okay all right all right any other any other thoughts or questions toasty do you have any questions about this one no no anybody else let's open this up any other questions about jen's vacation to tucson i guess the main question is do you try to get miss try and go get the duchess involved at some point you know get her away from the hustle and bustle of royal life and go hang out with the owls maybe Maybe I I would have to know if she could join the woo or not. That's that's the qualification. The How good is your woo? I mean, Are let's be honest. Eyed? She'll be too occupied with uh, Andalion. So. Oh oh yeah yeah Ben's Ben's playing um I don't know interference here I guess is the right term for that. <sighs> So that way I don't get arrested. Thank you, Ben, for taking that, taking the sword for me. So well, I'm not taking anything. It's Dan Alliance. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Well, those sounds like some fun vacations. Um, we've got Mormon Milkman coming up next. Mormon Milkman. If it's easier, you could just, you could just call me Tibble to keep it shorter. Tibble. So. I'm probably going to, I'm so bad at remembering names. It's, it's so much easier for me to just look at the name on the screen and repeat it. Um, but thank, thank you for joining us. First of all, thank you for, for being here. And um, this is a kind of fun, crazy topic. Are you going somewhere similar or somewhere very different? So yes and no. So 
part of you know part of the reason why I thank you for your support at the beginning is because I am in the military. I'm with the guard, and part of the thing that did bring up the vacation thing is because Memorial Day is a big thing where I live. Like we have we have Scandinavian days because in central Utah, that's where a lot of our immigrants came from. Cool. You know, funny because okay. you just talked about Skellige, Scandinavian Vikings. Yeah. That's funny. But for the guard, we are actually going to Morocco next week for a month. Oh, wow. So vacation. You could. So is goes. it, wait, wait, is this like a working thing or is this actually yeah. vacation? Yes. With the guard, we are going with the guard is going to Morocco for a month for training. Oh, wow. So okay. Got it. Got I'm it. I'm like, I'm going on a quote unquote vacation. I want to at least say, I want to at least imagine a vacation at some point before I do this. So that's why yeah. this became a very good topic. Yeah. Well, man, that's I amazing. I, I hope you have a, a really cool time there. I have a, co- a, a past coworker, a, a guy I used to work with was from Morocco and he would go back and visit. And one time he even brought me, um, he came back and brought like little trinkets for everybody in the office. And I think mine was like a, it was like a horse, but it was like a wood carved horse. That was something somebody made at like one of the street merchants or something like that. Um, so yeah, have fun with that. That sounds cool. Thank you. But so with the vacation thing, I feel kind of left out because two um, I, I had three just in case somebody else took mine, but two was nowhere on my list. <laughs> okay. They were not on the not on any of the three. Um, and funny, you have to mention Morocco. Number three was actually uh, oh, what what's the place called? Oh, it's the east side where they talk about the zebras. Oh, Finn, what's it called? I gotta open up a Witcher map. Oh, hopefully, I just opened it to look at it. And Ophiri, the land of Ophiri. Okay. Yeah, that was actually on my list, but my number one place because you know, of course, I'm from Central Utah, Rocky Mountains. I'm a country boy. Um, you know, I have such a bad internet connection compared to all of you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but. I want to go, my dream vacation, we'll start with the location, is Kaer Morin, the mountains around Kaer Morin, yeah. the valley there. Yeah. And the castle? Yeah. Like and the staying castle, at the castle? Our, yeah. Main, main destination, even though it's already broken to bits and nobody's there anymore, it'll still be a relatively nice place to stay. Well, have you, uh, it sounds like, have you been to places like Morocco or other places outside the U.S. before? Have you seen? Funny enough, this will be, this, this will be my first time out okay. in the U.S. Yes, take some time and visit some of the like the local like the old structures. I'm sure along the coastline there are old forts. There's like even the ones that are all broken down. In fact, sometimes especially the ones that are all broken down are very cool to just wander around in and take tours on or whatever because there's just so much history there and the old broken down ones actually feel older the ones that are kept up they stay kind of modernized in some ways because they're kept up yeah they feel a little bit more touristy because they're they're held together right um whereas you go by some of these old locations and you go well we can walk around on this floor and then we can't go up the stairs because (laughs) like that's that's an actual hazard you know but you can see portions of walls that are missing or you know old doors that are like caved in or whatever um so yeah go check some of that stuff out if you have the chance uh but yeah i i I am 100 percent on board with you it's going and checking out care more and seeing the old castle the old fort um and and being up in the mountains like that um now you say you're from utah do you like do you have a lot of experience being in the mountains do you go out into the wilderness yeah so i actually live in a small town in dead central utah that's right in the mouth of a canyon ever since i could even before i could walk i was in the mountains doing stuff that you know most people probably only get to do once in a blue moon because they don't have that right outside their front door. They don't have a, they don't have a cliff as high as the eye can see right outside their window. They don't, you know, they they don't have right now. I'm looking out my front door. There is a mule, a mule doe eating in my front lawn, eating my grass. Uh You just don't get that in some places. And I'm sitting here looking at this forest puppy, like get off my lawn, stop eating my grass. 
That's awesome. Like the highest point, I just looked it up again, just to be sure. The highest point in Florida is 345 feet above sea level. Sea level. <laughs> like there's nothing near me. I've been, I've traveled, I've been to the mountains, I've been to Colorado, I've been to the Appalachian Mountains. Obviously the Smokies are much taller. Um, so yeah, I'm, I am 100% on board with going to visit these places because this is not what I see outside my door every day. Um, that sounds awesome. And, you know, I guess next you'd be asking, like, what do I plan to do there? You know, sure. Sight, sightseeing is all the night. Yeah. But, is, are you bringing you know, anybody with you? What are you going to go do? So the plan was was to get Geralt, um, sadly not Vestemir, but Geralt, Vestemir, all those, you know, classic Witchers, especially from the Witcher 3 games, and just go game hunting. Like, you know, like I want to be taught how to use a bow and how to use a sword to hunt, to go and get some animals see who can get the biggest deer who can you know i'll probably avoid the monsters but be the judge of which witcher got the better monster you know like hopefully come back with not a mounted deer head but a mounted beans head to put in my living room oh man that would be amazing i bet up in um up in that part of the continent there is probably a lot of wildlife it i have a feeling it is not an area that has been over hunted there's game everywhere and probably some really big freaking deers or caribou or bears or you know any of those kinds of creatures that you would find up in that kind of climate fish and fowl even you know yeah Just, yeah it'd be great you know you get you get the mountain scenery you get the cool evenings even colder night where you get to sit around the fire play Gwent or you know like maybe Gerald is you know off cuddling with Jennifer somewhere or whatever you know that kind of <laughs> well, I mean you can have a boys thing. trip you can just be just be the boys you know Jen's taking it, the girls it could just be the boys yeah Jen's taking you all know, the girls yeah girls are off on their girl trip in Tucson the boys are off hunting game up sure up north why not so yeah yeah yeah, that sounds great. But no, yeah, that, that would be my dream vacation. Probably make it a long, don't spend a whole week, maybe four to five days for, for you know, maybe end the last day on really getting to taste, like make some meals out of out of what we got, you know, just, mm -hmm. you know, just, I, you know, make it a man's thing, you know, toxic masculinity and all, but yeah, make it a man's yeah, thing. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's no, there's no, I don't see any harm in saying guys typically do this and so therefore it's going to be a guy's weekend or girls typically do this mm -hmm. so there's going to be a girl's weekend. It's only when it's to the exclusion of the other, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's when it becomes kind of toxic. Um, yeah. Or, or downplaying the other, like, well, boo, you, your sound's boring, our sound's awesome and it's like, ah, eh, man, going, like, going to Tucson and tasting wines still sounds awesome, right? They're, like, yeah. teach their own. Um, so, yeah, no, I agree with you you there toasty you got any questions about this care more in trip he's thinking would you <laughs> I, I gotta i gotta know are you gonna get so like stupidly shit faced with the rest of them that you do dumb shit <laughs> <laughs> gonna go so, uh, you're, you're gonna be around a bunch of other witchers and some of those witchers are gonna grill you so specifically I, in land I, yeah so you know being in the military i can take a little hazing and you know just like you know and you know that's part of the reason i didn't really think of Tassan is because i don't drink alcohol myself um so i'm prepared to get a little hazing from the witchers like oh look at the look at this lily look at this lily not not drinking his goal, not doing this. Like, you know, you know, as myself, when I insert myself in the Witcher universe, I'm a Witcher as well, you know, which is funny because, you know, their potions are, you know, pretty much alcohol, but. Yeah, well, and know. the thing is, if you're, if you're a Witcher, then you're going to have the same resistance towards the effects of alcohol that they're going to have. So you could probably drink more just like they could before you end up feeling it. You know, your body's going to process that stuff differently. So, yeah. So I probably wouldn't get as smashed as they would just because I would personally find myself to just say, you know, the reason we drink these potions are for a specific reason and, you know, just my personal morals outside of the reason we're taking potions i don't want to consume that stuff so i'll just be the designated driver or whatever the heck the <laughs> coral i'll be the mediator between everybody i'll be the one reading the gwent cards when they're too hazed to understand what it is you know somebody plays dandelion and they think it's freaking siri or something i don't know i'll, I'll be the one be able, i'll be the one be able to read <laughs> right, right. Or the one who's uh, faster to react when the troll shows up out of nowhere. 
Yes, exactly. And you're like, get up, you dummies. <laughs> it's a troll coming. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Anybody else have any questions about this Care Morin trip? N- no questions. Oh, Jen. So, as an archer, would I be allowed to come on your boys' trip? Because um, I can so hunt. Here, here, here's an. We, we wouldn't turn turn you away, obviously, because you know all that. But honestly, like like I said, the, like the last day we'll be comparing game and everything. Um, maybe maybe some of the sorceresses and the other gals, or maybe even. Pe- you know, Ben and all them come up nor come up and see if they can uh, catch anything to take take you know to throw in as well. See if you bring anything up from Tucson that could, you know, even bear witness to what we are taking out out here. You no, know? you're, uh, you're more than welcome to join though. Yes, Tucson is the home of the vampire, so <laughs> when I kill, there's no evidence. <laughs> well, then. But, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I get you're still free to join, but you won't be winning any of the trophies. I might bring a body or two back. I mean, like a human now, body. Now do, you, do you mean that the Witcher or the Dandelion way? <laughs> oh, not Dan. I mean, Dandelion will be probably drunk or dead asleep. But Witcher, duh. But yeah, no. Everybody's free, everybody's free free to come. The more the the more the merrier. The more ground we'll be able to cover. The more things we'll be able to the more things we'll be able to see at the end. More stuff people brings in. You know, like we didn't even know like there was this elk in elk twenty twenty miles from Caramore where you know maybe Gerald or somebody went and did their little part of the hunt. So everybody's free to come. No no complaints here. Nice nice that sounds awesome well we need to take a break and thank our patrons but we'll be back and i'm gonna ask toasty where he's going on vacation and i'm gonna share where i'm gonna pick and then we'll talk a little bit more about vacation locations so don't go anywhere very well let us get this over with something has infested my vineyard Mm -hmm. great let me go prepare my something oil then All right, here we are in the middle of the show, and this is where we get to thank our patrons, including Mormon Milkman, who is our newest patron. Welcome. He's here with us right now. And thanks Hello. to hey, thanks to all of our patrons, including our higher vampires, Ben of Tamaria and Jared M. Thanks, Ben and, and Jared uh, and everybody else. Thank you for your support. If you are interested in joining us on a future chat like this or getting an ad free episodes or getting T-shirts and cool stuff, then go to patreon.com slash Witcher Lorecast where you can sign up up and or even just take a look at all the different stuff you can get and uh we have a new review this week this one comes from apple Podcasts, which is where if you leave us a review with five stars we'll read it out on a future episode this one comes from canada from jrd novo novotny jrd novotny i think is what that says and it's very simple it says best ever five stars great show it has helped my ttrpg so much my players thank you well you're very welcome and i'm so glad that you guys are having a fun time playing witcher in a ttrpg that sounds awesome so thank you for taking the time to leave that review and to anyone else who helps support the show if you listen on spotify you can rate it over there or leave little comments about what you liked about the most recent episodes and just thanks for being here We appreciate it. All right, let's move on with the rest of the show. Here we go. You smell of death and destiny, heroics and heartbreak. It's on you now. Right, yeah. Toasty, it's time for vacation. Where are you going? Where are you heading to? I am going to pick Doblathana. Doblathana. Yeah. The Elven Homeland. Homeland? Yeah. The what is that? That means something flowers, right? Yeah. Valley of the Flowers. Valley of the Flowers. Um because you love you love flowers just that much. That's why, right? I mean it's gonna be a beautiful place. Um regardless uh and yeah i am a, actually a fan of flowers these ones are very old but um occasionally my wife does buy me flowers and i am very appreciative for them uh that's very sweet of her um go on ben's over here talking shit <laughs> in the chat um 
I don't see. I don't know. Like, it's the elves' we'll lol. <laughs> That's what I mean, he said. It'd be interesting to see, like, but I mean, they don't have the same kind of vibe as like elves and other like franchises and stuff. I'm blur. Um, but they'll probably just like hate me because I'm a human and they're just going to assume that I hate them because I'm a human. And that's fine. It's understandable. Um, the continent has done elves dirty. Um, well, no, I mean, I think it's just like, sometimes you just like a vacation just needs like, I think just needs to be peaceful. And I think that's probably one of the most peaceful areas on the continent until it gets like, subjugated and becomes a, a vassal state and whatnot but oh, a war zone uh, that people fight over sure <laughs> okay yeah yeah um and i mean even like even in the sense like we get with the i'm trying i can't remember the name of the story exactly um but uh you see that it is like more like rooted in like the old like kind of like an older kind of magic to it and uh you know seeing like the represent the that one goddess ben helped me out <laughs> melithala it shows herself no no it might be an aspect i can't remember because remember like the end of the story she like shows up to basically tell the elves that they were doing wrong or something um it's like some like figment uh so you're you're looking for yeah. a religious experience with lots of flowers no i'm just looking for a peaceful experience um and just like an older uh, i guess a more like ancient area of the continent somewhere that's got like that kind of like strange like magical significance to it as well so that feels kind of like old and spooky i don't know if spooky is the right term <laughs> but I guess it could be depending. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Feel free to th chime in with some questions. If anybody else wants to ask some questions, For, well, first of all, who are, who are you taking with you? I think. Yeah. Serene is a good word for it. Um, honestly, I don't like you going by yourself. Is this a pilgrimage might... to the ancient lands of the elves? It might, it might be, I feel like, I feel like it kind of, this kind of thing is that I may just want to like, just sit out there and just like, kind of let the day go by without even really like, like with really nothing to do. Like I kind of want that. Um, I feel like Geralt might actually be a good choice because he doesn't talk a lot. Right. Uh, right. And if you talk too much, he'll tell you to shut up. Yeah, pretty much. Right. That sounds um, perfect for you. So yeah, it'd be very interesting. I feel like, I feel like Siri'd be a fun vibe for that too, because um, she appreciates, I think, that kind of thing. It'd be cool. Just a cool, smaller trip. I ain't going with no big groups for sure. What's up, Ben? Edge of the World is the story. Yeah, okay. I was trying to, I was like, it's the name of the damn one. That's it. So, any questions? Jen. I just had a vision of Toasty sitting in the Witcher meditation pose, and I feel like that's what you want. That is what you want. You want to go into the Witcher meditation pose where you can allow, like in gameplay, it's to allow time to travel faster so that way you can get to an hour in the day that you want. Um, but they yeah, just want so to experience way. all the hours, just like that, just there in a, a field of flowers. And give me a flower crown for the fuck of it, you know? I feel like yeah. if we leave you out there too long, eventually you'll just build like a what's the word cult a cult around you no nah, and you'll just be, make a flower fort <laughs> we'll have I like mean, that, hippie like, flower toasty with like other people i mean like out of all the places in the continent that's definitely like uh what's the fucking movie the midsummer movie or whatever that's definitely the area that that kind of thing would start up in so <laughs> <laughs> They're like, who whenever is this human? A, go ahead. Go ahead. Whenever he mentions the Valley of Flowers, because you talked about building a flower fort, I then pictured Toasty in like, because Val Flower Valley is like a biome in Minecraft, I think. So I'm just picturing him like building a house and like Minecraft Toasty building a house in the middle of the Flower Valley with just gir gir Minecraft Geralt just standing there watching it and just sheer <laughs> utter annoyance. Minecraft, Minecraft Geralt there. <laughs> I can't, I can't actually, I, I wouldn't. 
I, I can't actually do that in Minecraft. I never build houses. I just run around finding places. That's <laughs> what I've always done. Dig into a cave and, cave and block yourself in. All right. It's so nighttime. So it's not, I mean, it sounds like you got like this chill experience, at least as long as you don't get harassed by any of the elves who may not want you there. So that's cool. That's cool. Any other questions well, for have, Josie? Go I ahead. So are you there on your own venture? Like, are you going places that, you know, you've just heard about you're going there or are you getting yourself a tour guide, like an elf who knows the place and he is taking you or he thinks you want to see? I mean, if they offer, I wouldn't turn it down, but I'm also not going to like hassle them for it. Uh, AKA risk asking them because if I walk up to an elf encampment, me a lonely human, I probably would just get shot. <laughs> Maybe so. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. And no more questions. Any other thoughts on this one, Toasty? No. All right. I guess it's my turn. Um, let's see. I considered I, I, my mind first went to Tucson and then I was like, hell no because that's way too similar to where I already live so I don't want to do that and then I thought about Skellige because uh, I do like boats I like going on boats I like being on boats in weather that isn't too hot you know like taking a trip in like like coastal cities on boats that are more northern from where I live I've done that that sounds fun but then I thought about Kaer Morin, and I had the same thought that Mormon did about how cool it would be to go tour that location and then be up in the mountains with the cool air. And you could do it maybe not in the winter, like during the summer where it's still kind of cool, but like isn't super hot, but isn't freezing. And that sounds cool. And then you're like, well, I'm going to get the boys together. And, we're, and I was like, all right, let's do it. So I think I'm joining you on your trip if you're cool with that. How's that sound? More the merrier. Let's go. All right. All right. And I feel like I could be a good bow hunter. Um, the, the, I have shot guns before. I've gone to gun ranges and I'm pretty good shot, even for somebody who doesn't practice very often. So bow skills are probably pretty similar to tracking and aiming and, eh, you know, coordination and hitting something at a distance. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm terrible at it, but it, the fun will be finding out, right? So I think yeah. that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go up there with you guys. Um, plus, I think it would be really cool to explore the old castle and see what kinds of weird, I don't know, corners or historical locations or things that are around there. That would be that would be pretty cool, too. So any questions about mine? I guess since, you know, you're joining me on the trip, I guess my question for you, so I brought up the hunting and the Gwent and the late fires and the last barbecue. What would you personally like to include in this trip? You know, we got these four things in mind. What is your fifth idea that you want to do on the fifth yeah. your day? Or so I'm going to be preparing a tabletop role-playing adventure for us while we're on our adventure. So in the evenings when we're hanging out at the fire, cooking up our food, I'm going to be the, the game master and setting everything up for us all to eat our food and drink our, drink our beers or whatever we've got with us, right? While we, while we play a tabletop RPG where we exist in a world that the year is like 2023 and, uh, there's, um, there's like five different continents on the planet, uh, seven oceans, um, a bunch of modern countries, but then some countries are still kind of lagging behind a little bit in technology. Uh, it's going to be a very alien world to what we're used to from the continent, but I think it should be fun. Yeah, this so is, sounds like a shitty setting. You should work on it. I think it should be set in the year 2077. <laughs> 2077? <laughs> In a dark yeah, that's future. A that's a much better year. <laughs> yeah, that's, a better, that's a better. I'm okay with that setting. That's, that sounds Here, here's the thing, though. You can't call it Dungeons and Dragons. How about something like, okay, so dragons are dangerous and dungeons are a setting. Malls and moose. <laughs> Malls and moose. Okay. Malls and moose. Um, or, or it can be like in Dungeons and Dragons, you pick classes and things, right? So in this is in this one, your classes are things like 
plumber, banker, <laughs> musician, podcaster, <laughs> podcaster, Karen, <laughs> unemployed mom who's angry at the world. <laughs> That's the BBG, Karen. <laughs> You're right. Uh, CEO of startup, <laughs> startup CEO, um, any of teacher, like these are, these are your character classes and, uh, it's going to be super exciting because you're going to have to roll for things. Like if you're Karen, you're going to be like, roll for, roll for, get my money back. Even though nothing's wrong with the product. I believe that's a persuasion check. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's one of her superpowers. And then I got to roll against it because I'm the UPS driver dropping off her pack because she's complaining about. There you go. UPS driver. Oh, right. No. Right. Right. Or you just say, hey, you got to call the number and talk to support. That's not my problem. <laughs> Sorry. Or a few other things I've had on mind, but I don't want to get muted this chat. So, <laughs> Gosh, yeah. <clears throat> yep. I believe it. All right. So that's that's what I'm bringing. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think all the witchers are going to look at me like I'm crazy. They're going to be like, what is this crazy game we're playing? But whatever. Um and I think it'll be fun. They'll be too drunk to realize. It'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah, maybe you and I will be the ones not drunk. It's uh, I used to tour in a band, and I was kind of the oldest one in the band, and I also didn't drink very much. So many nights, I was the like rational one in the room, who was like, "All right, we got to get back to the back to the place we're staying. It's like three thirty in the morning. Everything's closed. Time to go. Everybody it's get in the cab." For the witch, the babysitting gig for us. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of like babysitting. Um, that definitely was a was a thing. Um, babysitting witchers, though, has got to be way more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why they have them all tucked away in care more and you can't get into a whole lot of trouble up there <laughs> right right it's, it's not like you can safety. <laughs> right right all right man this has been a lot of fun anybody else have any final thoughts on this before we wrap this up any other uh, yes things come we to mind? should go, all go to poland and go visit the old witcher school they used to have <laughs> even though it's not there anymore yeah, the castle this castle's still there all right yeah sounds good you should just take it over and start a new witcher school hey, there we go yeah I, cool. I mean we i guess we could just take it over like people would like why it's buy cool, it it won't be that hard why buy it when you just conquest it toasty <laughs> toasty his hands up um just i just want to do a quick go around uh and see what everyone's answers to this question just kind of like wrap things up the place the, the anti-vacation spot the place you don't want to go to in the witcher world the most <laughs> oh man okay oh those freaking swamps that you open up in in witcher 3 Velen? keep me away from the field of dead people yeah no, the dead people you. the dead okay. people swamps okay fair enough yeah <laughs> Crickback Bog. Crickback Bog. Is Nilfgaard. Just all of Nilfgaard? <laughs> that's half, that's I, half the continent. I will not deal with Amir and his BS. <laughs> <laughs> you probably don't have to. He's still fighting the war. He's Tuson, wait, wait. Tucson is in Nilfgaard. Isn't it? It's, it's, yeah, it's a vassal state. It's, it's a vassal state. state. It's fine. It's still part exactly. of it. Yeah, but mm. I don't have to deal with actual, you know, with Guardian. Okay, all right. And armor, right. black, black clad armor and all. <laughs> all right. All right. Mormon, do you have one? Um, if I would have to choose, like, the least place I would want. So we're asking, like, not just a place we don't want to be, but, like, if somebody invites us on a vacation there, we do not hesitate to turn down that you're, you're just like I, i'm sure. busy I'm so, I'm so sorry i can't go okay <laughs> um honestly i would i would say the um uh gosh i forgot the capital it's the the northern capital novigrad um no no not novigrad no uh northern. which uh, capital uh, of like tamaria or redania uh it's the one that's on the island in the game i it, i had it and uh, it's where you, it's where you meet King Radovan and oh Oxenfurt uh, Oxenfurt. Oxenfurt. I would okay. hate to go to Oxenfurt, just um, especially at the place it is in the Third Witcher game with all the um, uh, racism against you know non humans and just all that kind of stuff. Like I'm sure they got plenty there. It's just 
I can't deal with that kind of extremism in the community. You yeah. Know? yeah. So I would deny, I would rather go to Crookback Bog and um, have to slow dance with the hags. Oh God, I think that's where I would not go. I don't Damn think I want to go to Bold Crookback Bog. Bold <laughs> statement. <laughs> you asked. Uh, uh, fair enough. The battlefield of Sodden after the battle? That sounds pretty terrible. Also, uh, Blaviken also sounds like just like one of those places that you'd be like, I don't really think I ever, ever want to, no, no, I don't want to go there. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't that's know what fair. sounds came out of my mouth right there, but yeah, it was it disgust. Board. That, that's enough reason not yeah, to Yeah, it's a big no for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Got, yeah. Um, I'm trying to see if there's what any other What was the places. name of that little place where the three, the three witch hags live, the fates? Crookbag. Back bog, back, bog, back, bog. back bog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. That's why we brought that one up because that sounds like no good at all. Like, no, no crones. Mm -mm. No crones. Yeah, the crones. Thank you. <laughs> um, what about you, Witch? Yeah, Toasty. I almost said Witcher. That doesn't make sense. What about you, Toasty? I, mean, I am. I am Witcher. So what about you, you Witcher, know, Toasty? Fine. Um, you know, I feel, you know, Crookback Bog. It's the safe. That's the safe answer, right? Um. But I have an I have another bog in mind. Um specifically the bog that they sit all of the the young wolf students in in Nightmare of the Wolf. Nightmare of the Wolf. I don't want to go there. <laughs> that place looks fucked up. I, I mean, do not want to go there. Yeah, ever. have a wraith implode you. That's fantastic. <laughs> like, it's gotta like be somewhere near Care Morin, right? That's like, the next level somewhere. wraith right there. I don't want to fuck with those. <laughs> like they just explode you later. They just pull all of the monsters out of that place. Like, no. Mm mm. I'd rather go deal with the crones. Honestly, I'd like at least at least Crookback Bog has Johnny. Johnny seems like a good time. That's just death. That's true. There's Johnny. There's Johnny. All right, guys. Well, time to wrap this up. Thank you for joining us. This has been super fun. And let's go back through and feel free to share any of the things that you're working on that you want to share that you've been doing, put out into the world. Um, ben, let's start with you. Yeah, so, you know, I am one of the hosts for Holocron History, Star Wars Canon versus Legends. We take a deep dive into the Star Wars universe. And I'm also one of the hosts for the Wizarding World of Lore cast, where we take a deep dive into the Wizarding World and Harry Potter. Uh, we do live stream on my Twitch channel every Tuesday and Wednesday nights at Ben of Tamaria on Twitch. So check that out. Please go follow me. I am trying to get affiliated. So nice. Nice. Well, thanks for joining us again, Jen. I also have two shows on the network, the Two Girls, One Ship podcast, where we do character analysis and specifically talk about the romances of each of those characters. I also co-host with Toasty on the Cyberpunk Lorecast, talking about everything past, present, and future. Awesome. Awesome. And then uh, Mormon Milkman, thanks for joining us. You got any projects, anything you want to share about? Um, no projects, just a normal guy who loves your guys' podcast, gives me a little bit of sanity while I'm delivering packages all day on the brown truck. Um, I just, only thing I have to say is I apologize for my setup. Like I said, I'm going away in a month, so I kind of no have problem. to put everything away. So sorry I'm in front of my stairs and in front of a window. So uh, it's totally next month I'll be able to be back downstairs. Yeah, don't sweat it. It's totally cool. Uh, but thank all you for right. joining us and, and for being here. And good luck with the whole trip coming up and delivering packages and all of that. Toasty, you. you got anything going on you want to share? Genesis already shouted out our show together, um, but I also do the Cyberpunk Red Live Play podcast, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk Posh BD, uh, with the fumbling for an almighty crit gang. Yeah, and all of those shows you can check out on robotsradio.net. If you're looking for links again, you're like, what was that show they, they mentioned? We'll just scroll through, you'll find it. And uh, they, of course, I've got a bunch of other shows as, as well. So just come, lots of content. Just come on over, check out all the different content. Lots of great stuff for you to check out. And uh, thank you again for joining us. We'll be back, um, maybe not next week. I'm actually going to be gone next week. So maybe the week after that, we might just take a week off. Uh, but we'll be back then. And until then, Stay safe on the path. We'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Stay safe. 
Thanks for tuning in to the Witcher Lorecast. We'd love to hear about your experiences with the games and the books and the TV series and all your thoughts on everything. Please check out the Robots Radio Discord and follow us on Twitter at Witcher Lorecast. You've been listening to the Robots Radio Podcast. Smart shows for interesting people. Check out all the shows at robotsradio.net. <laughs>